Hey, hi there, Gemini. Welcome to my channel. I'd like to thank you for tuning into those energies and influences that are coming through for your weekend reading, July 12th to the 14th of 2019. Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Ascendance. This is a predictive, condensed general reading. Please only take those portions that resonate with you. Please remember to check out that description box below. There is a free birth chart calculator at the bottom. Thanks, you guys. And after the reading is a take note moment. Okay, Gemini, off camera, I've done a protective blessing. I've shuffled and meditated over these cards just for you. Your first card. It's the general atmosphere. It's the background and the basis of the matter. The two of wands, Gemini. This is fire energy. This represents something that you want. This is an aspiration card. You're aspiring to something. This card represents future possibilities. The globe is in your hand. That world is in your hand. This could be a decision between security and risk. Could be opposing forces taking the place with inside you or another person. This can also indicate power over another. This is enterprise and energy and growth. It's creative tension and longing. This is an equal passion for two different things, and you must pick one. This is pushing for your goal. It can be power struggles or a need to assert yourself or prove something or convince someone of something. But something new is developing in your life. And only you can find out about it. And it is possible to achieve great ends. And success now depends upon your will and your drive to stay the course. Your second card. And it's the energy that is crossing over your path. The Three of Wands, Gemini. More fire energy. And now this is expecting the thing that you've started. It's a realization of hope. It's waiting. It's something that's already been set into motion. This is working on already established patterns, acting mature and responsible, and others responding to you in a confident and positive way. This is foresight and long-term plans, and I don't know how there's no turning back. It's a bright future ahead. It also makes it a great time to let go of past hurts. This can be travel or foreign travel. But growth is certain. This is a project that's about to be completed and benefits being reaped from enterprises. Even though something that's been achieved, there's still some more to do yet. But your efforts are going to be rewarded. This is expanding your horizons. And in love, make that first move and sort out what you want to achieve and what others are expecting of you and what your actions bring about. What have you failed to get done or left out? Who is waiting for you? Where are you headed? This can be planning, it's travel and optimism. This is being already in the process of growth. It's, it's a release of tension. And now things can be productive. This is a new opening and growth. It's, it's being matured to a state of cooperation. It's looking from the higher ground to see what happens. It's more opportunities coming and staying the path. And with confidence, you achieve. This is commitment to your plans, and now there's movement and progression. It's expanding, and your plans are underway. Your third card, and this is how it affects you. This is your attitude. Number 13 of the Major Arcana in the Rider Waite deck. The Death card. This can be a Scorpio, Sun, Moon, or Ascendance. This is a change, it's a renewal with a transformation. This is a birth of new ideas, new opportunities, after a time of pause and reflection, and discovering what no longer fits. This is an opening to something more important, a dying away of old habits and old fears and old hopes and old ways of dealing with the world or old relationships. This experience can seem shattering, but if we welcome change, we find that death leads to new life and new possibilities. This new ending must be faced because you're about to enter a new dimension in your life. This is letting go and letting the universe, because resisting can cause pain. Your fourth card. This is the position of the future. It's the outcome, the results, and the advice. 
the Ace of Swords, Gemini, air energy. This is your element. Swords, also called spades in other decks. The air element represents intellect, the mind, the thoughts, the love of truth and justice and spirituality. They can express boldness and courage and can indicate strife. You'll need to be assertive or aggressive and you'll overcome. This Ace of Swords with the Death card here is a sudden and complete break from the past. It's a complete change of mind. This is using your mind to cut through obstacles. It's solving of a problem that will lead to personal growth. You'll be proclaiming your truth. This is all one way. There's no gray area and there's no compromise here. This is getting to the point and checking facts. It's proclaiming your truth and keeping your promises. Your fifth card, it's the bottom of the deck card. The underlying issue, this is what's unseen. The King of Wands, Gemini. This is a fire energy person. Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Sun, Moon, or Ascendance. This is an influential and independent person and they help those that they care about. You can rely on their honesty and intelligence and their loyalty. They're fair-minded and you're sure to get good advice from them. This can also refer to a situation which is exactly as appears to be with no hint of deception. It can also indicate good fortune coming your way. It could be in the form of unexpected help or advice. This could be good news or a promotion or an inheritance or settlement to fall in. This is a person who is impatient and they dislike details. This is someone that's charming and inspiring. They've mastered the use of the fiery element and they're wise about business. They know when to take action and how to create harmonious human relationships in the process. This is someone that's in your life now or they're soon going to be appearing or they've already been a strong and positive influence. This can also indicate that the time is right to advance your goals and explore your possibilities. This can be good news to further your goals. And now your advice from the Oracle deck the Sacred Traveler by Denise Lynn. Gemini, you've got great adventure. Take a risk and venture forward. At the end of your life, you're more likely to regret the things you didn't do than the things you did do. Take risks. Not every risk enables success, but if you don't try, you'll never know what remarkable experiences were available to you. By stepping out of your comfort zone, you'll discover new talents and abilities. Playing safe in the long run is no safer than venturing forth with glee. To quote Helen Keller, life is either a daring adventure or nothing. And the sacred traveler wants you to know that you should hoist your sails, catch the trade winds of adventure, and enter the open seas, just like that third, the three of wands there. Explore new ports of call. It's easy to stay safe in the harbor, but that's not where the juice of life is. When you sail the open seas without knowing where the day will bring, life force energy is activated within you. There's no guarantees when you take a risk. Be willing to go out on a limb. That's where the best fruit is. When you push yourself beyond your personal boundaries, life is so much more fulfilling. Here's your animal message. From the deck by Susie Green. Gemini, you've got Raven. Listen to your intuition to receive a message from the world of spirit. Black, glossy magician of the feathered world, intelligent denizen of this windswept hills, lonely crags and dark forests, Raven swoops on wings on four-foot span. He calls to the wolves to tell them that a feast awaits, a deer, a bear. He calls to you so that you may now discover the enchanter within, to give form to the formless. Listen carefully for his cry, for Raven brings you a message from the realms of the spirit. Here's your take note moment. Gemini, when we apply the principles of the subconscious mind, we are then able to pray effectively. Our prayers answered according to the universal law of action and reaction. Thought is the initial stage of action, 
the very beginning of development. The reaction is a response from your subconscious mind which corresponds with the nature of your thought. So we busy our minds with the concepts of harmony, health, peace, and goodwill, and soon you will begin to notice wonders happen in your life. Gemini, more next time, so I hope you stay tuned in and leave me a comment or a thumbs up, and please subscribe. Now remember, what goes around comes around, so I'm sending you out love and light and blessings. Thanks for watching.